A couple weeks ago, I was in the world of Tartosa and we did a little one bedroom Greek inspired starter home using only 20,000 simoleons. Today, we are going back to that home and developing it into a three bedroom family home. But I'm going to be using all of the packs and everything that I can muster with a budget of around about 50,000 simoleons. And here she is in all of her glory. This is on the 20 by 20 lot in Tartosa. And I think it came out quite nice. All we used with this was base game and my wedding stories. And I can't, I'm kind of happy with this. The only bit I don't really like, and I left it purposely like this, was the back. Because it's kind of quite flat and sort of like very narrow on this bit here. Which is where we housed the bathroom. And then downstairs was just this kind of like walkway that I just left completely bare because I knew I'd be developing on it a little bit later in time. And that's what we're going to be doing today. So as I said, I want it to be like a two, maybe a three bedroom. I would love some more outdoor kind of balcony space like we've got here, but maybe on the back of the build. So we've got, we can take in all of the views that this lot has got because it's on an island. It's got like sea views from the back. So I want to utilize that as much as possible. I also want to extend out this courtyard area here. I think I want to make it a little bit bigger uh, and maybe have some lovely like step these platforms, but maybe make the platforms a little bit better too. The kitchen and the living room area, it's an okay size, but I wouldn't mind having some kind of enclosed dining room as well. And, and also a downstairs toilet down here too. So that is what I'm going to do today. Yes, we are indeed. So I think the first thing we need to do is maybe I'm going to tr I'm going to try and keep as much of the landscaping as possible. But I think what I want to do is just build out and start getting this house a little bit bigger square footage, you know, so that's what we're going to try and do today. Yes, we are indeed. Um, I am going to get rid of all of these bits at the back here. Just while we work on this, just while we work on the actual shape of the house, I'm going to get rid of everything on the back here and see what we come up with. Yes, Garadot, right. Okay, so I think we need to extend this side out a little bit longer here so I can have a little bit more footage on this point here. So I think what I wanna do is just build on, I think I think having a an extra two there would probably work or even a three. If I do an extra three here, come in there like that, whiffle that one, this is going to have to be um, kind of raised up on a platform, which may house the dining room quite nicely. And then what I'm going to do is just pull out this area here a little bit more as well. Just maybe not to the full way, but maybe just one more to there, which in turn will give us a little bit more room to maybe extend out this area. But also the floor plan is going to be changing quite a lot up here too. Yeah, that's kind of nice. I think we should come out a little bit wider here as well then. And maybe I can put a toilet over here. Or I can even put the toilet there and do the dining room off to the side here. And have a kind of like inside outside moment. Kind of feeling that. What I am going to do is get rid of the, all of this uh, kitchen. I think we can go for a better kitchen now we've got a little bit more money. And uh, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to get rid of all of you and you. And I'm going to extend out off to the side this way. Yes. I am going to extend out where that wall starts there, just so it looks kind of nice. I think I'll do a four. Oh, that's the wrong level, please. I think I'll do a four. Is that going to be okay? I think it will. I might have to move that window, but we can just pretend that the builders did that, you know? Oh, saying that, though. Hmm. Saying that, I think that might be a little bit too big. So I think what I'm going to do is go to there. Let's go to here. That is a five, and then I would love another five here. I think that might be okay. We shall soon see. Yes, and we can have that under um, a little canopy moment as well, like we've done over there. And that's going to be like an indoor-outdoor vibe. I'm going to put some arched windows on there, I think, maybe. Uh, we'll see what happens. But I do need to play around with the upstairs layout. So I think I'm just going to have a little, because I need to I need to get my thinking cap on. I'm going to have a little play around with everything and then come back with something a little bit more um, than what we've got here already. Because I just can't really figure out what I want at the minute. And this day needs to concentrate. There's been some major changes. So before I do anything more, I need to take you through it because... There's a lot to take in. There is a lot to take in. So you can obviously see the whole shape of the buildings changed. 
I decided to go a bit more contemporary with the new windows and doors that I've put on. Or just the new doors, to be honest. Well, some of the windows. We'll discuss that a little bit further in a second. I just want to talk a little bit more about out the front here. I'm thinking about putting in a little pool. I did want a little pool in this area. But because I've really extended out the, like, closed-in courtyard garden or the patio... I didn't really have space to put the pool over there. And I thought, do you know what? Just a nice little plunge pool in the front. We're going to develop this together as well. I'm going to get rid of all of this fence in a second. And we'll pick out another fence. Um, I'm going to get rid of this, uh, the Bougainvillea. I'm going to get rid of it from the front here. I think I'm going to put it over on this side instead. Just because it's kind of like taking up this new big slidey window that I've, um, big slidey door that I've used um, for the front door. A um, little bit more contemporary, darlings. Yes, I have. I've extended out, as I said, the closed-in courtyard garden area. We're going to do all of this together as well. We're actually going to open this out using some of these windows, but I don't know which ones to use. I don't know whether to go for the plain white ones or, oh, or just get rid of it completely like that. Um, or the, like, stone detail. I don't know what to do just yet. Ignore this. This is the pergola. It's sticking out. We're going to cover that with some flowers. It'll all be fine. Um, but this extends all the way around to the side of the build here. Um, before we move upstairs, I'll talk you through what I'm going to be doing in here. So, you come in through the main entrance here. We're going to have like a little vestibule area. You can see I've picked out new uh, flooring and wallpapers. I wanted to go a little bit more contemporary. We're still going to hit it with some like really rustic influences like the doors and maybe some of the furniture pieces and stuff. And the lighting's going to be a lot less cooler. This is a very silver cool light at the minute. And I just don't think it looks right in here. It needs to be slightly warmer. Um... Um, I'm going to close this area off just slightly, maybe with some use of some pillars and half walls. This is going to be the living area up here. I'm going to do the living room up here. But I've decided to go for these windows. They're not, they're not necessarily very kind of like Greek or Mediterranean in the way that they look. But I'm going to put up some lovely curtains here just to kind of soften this area. But I really wanted that view from the living room. I just thought that was stunning. I've put an entrance out to the back here that has got its own little patio moment from the living area stunning so you come in here a little walkway i'm going to put a dining room table on this part here and then i've raised where the kitchen is going to go um excuse the platforms they have not all there we go stunning the kitchen is going to be in this point here i've not picked out windows for the kitchen yet just because i want to get the kitchen in first and then i'll go ahead and pick some windows um then it's got access out here onto that little enclosed courtyard area through here which it's lovely. And then it's got its own little bathroom downstairs as well now, which I'm kind of for. And obviously access out through this way as well. So you've got this kind of like just nice flow through. I think that's quite a nice open plan um, floor plan. And I'm kind of for it. The stairs still are outside. So you still have to come up the stairs. Let me get rid of that. Still have to come up the stairs to get to the bedrooms. But this is all changed up here. So it's got three bedrooms now plus a bathroom up on this level. Three of the bedroom, no, two of the bedrooms have got their own kind of balcony area as well, which taking um, all of the views from, like I said, I wanted like through the back of the house. So bigger bedroom here. We're probably going to keep this as the main bedroom. Not so much a smaller bedroom, but a bit more of a smaller shape. So I think we'll go for more of a kid's bedroom in this one. And then this one here, I'm just going to do as a guest bedroom. So another double bed in here. Um, and they've both got their own outside balcony areas as well. Uh, and I'm kind of for that, loves. I think it looks nice. It definitely needs to be shuffled around. Things need to change a little bit more here and there. But we're going to do that now. So let's make a start. As I said, I wanted a, I want a pool area out here. So I'm going to get rid of this debug fence that we used to save money. As much as I like that size down, I think we can go for something a little bit more nicer now. I mean, we've still got 45,000 simoleons left. We're going to be absolutely... We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. So get down to here. Get this on. I, st I don't mind if the Sims can't really walk around this too much. I think I'll take it to around about there. Yeah, I think so. I think that's perfect. I almost want to do it there as well, you know. But the only problem with that is I won't be able to put in any kind of fence. Um, And I don't really care about that, to be honest. I don't really care because... This island has its own kind of moment anyway. It was just, I wanted something there for privacy more than anything. And especially now there's a pool there. Maybe what I could do is bring this all the way to the back of the house and then pop you to there. And then I've got room there now to put in just a nice fence in front of it. So it almost acts as a little bit of privacy. And then this can be open anyway because it kind of looks out over into the sea. So not too worried about that. 
So let me find a nice fence that I think would work well here. I'm just going to go for the base game one. I'm going to go for the base game fence. And I've kind of left a little gap there as well. As I said, it's still, I still wanted to make it feel enclosed, this pool, but I still wanted that view out from that pool. So I'm very much for that. So as I said, I really wanted to change where this pool can be. Yeah. And I'll be able to use the one that actually sticks to the wall now just to make it easier for us because we have got a little bit of money left. I've left this free of any kind of a patio just because I want to put some soil or something down there. So it looks like the ball can be, yeah, is growing from somewhere, you know? Yeah, that's nice. I like that. So as I said, I do want a little bit of soil here as well. Uh, we'll go for something a little bit more arid looking like this just to fit in with the landscape. Yeah, that's cute. And I could probably do some plants in there as well. Yeah, and I might stick a few out here. I'll do a couple here. The size you don't so look too uniform. Uh, and I'll do two more smaller, smaller ones. Like here and here. And then I'll go under that with a little bit of terrain painted. Just bring you down and then bring that softness up. I might change the uh, pool trim as well. I think we should, to be honest with you. Yeah, that looks nice. I'm going to change that water too. 256 moleons to change the water. Disgusting. What I do need to do is just sort out this terrain here or this landscaping here um, and just shuffle this area around a little bit more and get some more greenery and bits out. So let me grab all of that out. So I just cleaned it up a little bit. Just cleaned it up a little bit. You can see I've put a hedge around on this corner here now. That's mainly so I can hide that pool trim, but I think it sits in there quite nicely. Yes, it does indeed. I also got rid of the blue fence up here. Just wasn't working for me. I kept looking at it and I was just like, why are you not working for me? And it answered me and said, it's because I look fucking hideous. And I was like, you know what? I'll take you away then. So what I did was put up this little awning from the Desert Looks, pa Looks Pack, which allowed me to put that on the other balconies as well, just to keep those areas a little bit cooler in the summer months. And then <laughs> what I did is put up some of this wisteria just on the front um, wall here just to add a little bit of detail there really and I played around a bit with a bit of the terrain paint and also some of the landscaping I sorted out the landscaping around here as well which in turn allowed me to put this tree in a better place so I just shuffled that tree around a little bit um and I put in two little uh sun lounges just under it I thought that would be a nice little touch nice cool area just to sit down and enjoy the weather uh do I need to put that just above the door I think I might do I keep I keep looking at that as well yeah, that's better. That's much better. Uh, changed out the lights as well. Changed out the lights for these orb ones. Just a little bit more contemporary. Bought out that olive tree there. Uh, didn't change anything about this balcony. I think this balcony is absolutely fine. It's kind of a nondescript balcony as well at the minute because it doesn't come off of any room apart from the, the main kind of hallway. So everyone can use that. Um, so I'm fine with it. Put in a little bin underneath these stairs there. A little outdoor bin. And what we're going to do now is make a start on this together. So I think what we're going to go for is this one here. Just because it's got the pure white look to it. Uh, and I think that will just work a lot better in this area. So that's what we're going to do. Yes, we are indeed. So I want to flop in um, these everywhere. I think I'm going to do them in um, sets of three. And wondering how many we can put on this wall before it looks. Before it um, doesn't fit in there properly. Uh, if I can do a set of three from here as well. How far you're along about that much then? One, two, and three. Oh, we're not going to be able to put another three here. Maybe I could just fit one in the middle then instead. It kind of breaks up that area. Yeah, I don't want to have like a row. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to have like a big row of them. I think it would be overkill if I did that. Yeah, it, it's, just, it's just too much. It's just too much. Just having that there. Just breaks up that wall space nicely. Yes, I'm into it. Right, okay. As I said, I need to hide a multitude of sins. Um, and what I mean by that is that pergola. So what I've done instead is sized down the pergola. Sized it down to a 0 0.9 using the tool mod. And I put the book and the yeah over on this side instead. And I just think it just yeah pays respect to what was there before. Because it was there before. Uh, and I'm kind of for it. Yeah, that's cute. That's a nice... Nice little moment there. So let's start doing this area here together. So I'm thinking, let me get you right in the bloody middle because I can't see where you are. And I'm going to need the Sims to be able to walk through this area as well. They should be able to get around there. No problem. Yes, I like that. And then I'm going to put the barbecue down on this end. Put the barbecue down here. Yep, yeah, I think that'd be cool. <gasps> oh, do you know what though? That 
all there are screaming out for a water feature. Unless I can put a water feature over this way. Nope, we can't. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to put the barbecue over here instead. Yep, that'd be fine. And here, I'm going to put in that lovely water feature. I think you all know the one I'm going to go for. Because I use it to death. And it's got a lovely blue and white swatch. Oh, beautiful. I do love that. Yes, that'd be cute there. Yep, into it. Absolutely for it. Gorgeous, gorgeous things. It's making me want to paint this white down here rather than having the tiles on the house bit here. I think what I'm going to do is have all of that in that texture instead. Yeah, I much prefer that. Something I definitely needs to go on the wall there. Definitely needs to go on the wall there, but I don't know what just yet, so we'll leave it for the minute. Then I'm going to have a little herb garden moment. Lovely, lovely. So let me pull out a few more bits and we will be throwing these around together. So here we go. Now, I thought we were going to be using a lot more objects than what I'm going to be using now, but it was just a few little touches, loves, and it seems to have worked. Now, I reckon Yaya, who is the grandmother of this family who are going to be residing here in my head, um, lives here now. So we're going to make that spare bedroom into Yaya's bedroom. Um, so I think this would be the perfect little... Uh, rocking chair for her to come out and do a bit of cross stitching on in the in the cool you know when it gets a bit hot i'm for that storyline i really am these plants here i thought looked nice on this little space here just underneath of that globe there i've swapped out the light um swapped out that like classic light we had for that one and put another one over here as well just so it lit this area up quite nicely but i've also used some candles out on this table here as well so when they come out and have their food out this way I just think that would be perfect, but I didn't really want to do anything else. I thought that looked just how I wanted it. So I'm going to keep it that way and it's saving us money as well, loves, you know? So I'm very much for that. I uh, did end up putting some ivy up on that wall as well. I forgot to even say that. Put some ivy up on that wall uh, using a nice terracotta planter and stuff. Gorgeous. So we're coming around to this side now. We're coming around to this side and we're going to decorate up the outside balcony areas here so i did end up putting a window in from the kitchen area we've gone for the island living one i thought it just kind of matched in well with the ones that we've already got and it's in that kind of nice shape um which is great so yeah stunning anyway here we go i want to bring out a couple of chairs here i think because of the view out from the living room like imagine oh, oh i want to go on holiday so bad uh view out from the living room I just think that would be perfect to have a couple of nice chairs there and some nice plants and maybe a small little table here just for two chairs where they can come out and eat their breakfast and stuff from. Okay, here we go. We're going to start off with obviously some Borgavia. I'm going to flop this swamping around this area here, I think. So I'm going to flop a bit to there as well. And doesn't need to be anything too much. Oh, do you know what? That's enough. <laughs> that is perfect. Perfect amount there. I'm going to put in a little dining table and chairs, a little breakfast area, I think, just out here. Um, and that makes sense because it comes straight from the kitchen as well, which is nice. Could do with something over there, to be honest with you. Maybe some more plants. I haven't really figured out what I want to do there. So we'll come back to that in just a second. Now I'm going to use these chairs here from Island Living. I just like the blue swatch with these. Yeah, I think so. I think that'd be perfect there. Where do I want to use this out here? I don't know if I do. Oh, I could put that over there, actually. Oh, yeah. Yes, I probably will use this plant again in the interior, but I'm going to use this out here too. I love this plant. I just wish it came in some better swatches on the, um, this. I wish it came in just some plain swatches. It would, would have worked so much nicer. Very much would have. Uh, and these, I just thought, would look perfect. Kind of just flopped around in these points here. And um, just outside the slidey doors. Oh! Yeah, that's cute. I like that. You can obviously see I've put the lights out here as well, the orb lights. Yeah, that's a nice little area, that. Lovely little area to come out here of an evening. Can you imagine? <gasps> oh, I need a holiday. I know I keep saying it, but I very much do. So, I've pulled out a little lounger here. I'm going to use this little lounger over on this balcony. And then maybe I could use the modular sofa. Uh, I don't know if that's the vibe. I don't know if that's the vibe I want. I think it might need to just be two. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Again, keeping it keeping it simple. Keeping it simple, loves. We've got 29,000 simoleons left. So I'm just being careful at the minute um, of what I'm putting out here. 
Yes. And then maybe with Yaya's bedroom, which is going to be this one here. I think I'll bring up another rocking chair. I think I'll bring up another rocking chair. And just give her a little moment out here. So she can watch the sunset. Would it be sunset from this point? Yeah. Watch the sunset. So I'll flop a little chair there. And then maybe just a little plant over in the corner here. And we'll go for that lovely potted tree that I should have utilized in other places, to be honest with you. Maybe I could put one down here as well. There we go. I do like the shape of this at the back. I think it's working very much well for me. Um, yeah, into it. Okay, well, I think, my loves, we are done with the exterior. I think the exterior looks kind of attractive. Yeah, happy with that. Happy with that extension. So we're going to make our way into the interiors now. So I think where we're going to start is this kind of area here. So the... Uh, entrance area and the living room and maybe even the dining room i'll find the stuff for the dining room as well including lights and stuff for this area so let me pull all that out choose what we're going to do and we'll put it around together so here we go starting with the living room we're going to use these well this sofa here from uh jungle adventure <laughs> jungle adventure you can obviously see what i've done with the half wall here but a little half wall with uh some posts just to give living room a feeling of separation <laughs> um so that's what we're gonna do today yes we are right i'm gonna flop you to there i'm gonna bring you a little bit more over to about there i think decided not to put a tv in this living room either um yeah just didn't want to didn't, didn't want to and everywhere where i was like putting the tv it just looked strange so tv free household gloves they do exist out there they do I'm going to use this lovely rug from Growing Together. I'm going to put you to around about there. Gorgeous. So I'm going to move that sofa back now. Beautiful. I'm um, going to use this little matching chair. I'm going to pop you into... I think I popped you... Did I pop you there? Because I did put a plant next to you. We did end up going for this plant that I said I was going to use in the interior. And here it is to be used. So I'm going to flop it to there. And tilt the chair a little bit more that way. And you can obviously see I've painted... A wall blue. I wanted a little accent wall in here. It was just looking a little bit too stark and white. Uh, and I popped a mirror up on this wall here as well. A uh, coffee table. We're going to flop the coffee table into the middle there. Gorgeous. Which in turn makes me want to bring that a little bit further in. And the same with that as well. Let's centralise that a little bit better like that. Perfect. And then I used this gorgeous door of vagina nana. Um painting people are probably like what the hell did you just say only ogs to the channel will know my darling it's a very 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 elusive story that i told once upon a time about the lost door of vagina na -na -na. <laughs> yeah don't even ask don't even ask but um yeah living room i thought that was nice and you can obviously see i picked the curtains from my wedding stories as well just to bring a little shock of blue onto that area too and I think that really works. It's just a nice contemporary feel uh, living room. But I'm still going with a few classic touches here and there. And you'll see them come into fruition in just a second. Because what we're doing now, I'm going to separate this area off here with that divider. And I'm going to bring that post in there. So this is kind of like the entrance like vestibule. Um, <laughs> I, wanted, I really want to get a desk here as well. Not necessarily to have as a kind of like fixed desktop point but i think if i put a laptop on it then this desk can be used for all kinds of things you know so i'll put a little cheeky laptop on there that was a thousand simoleons so we gotta be careful um we'll get you in the house now um what do we do we put these plants here we put these here right next to the desk just so it adds as a i mean you can't get much privacy here it's a full glass door but there's just something there you know we need to put a light up there as well. Now, around on this side, we're going to do a little bench for them to put their, get their shoes and put their uh, put their shoes on and take their coats off if they may need a coat. I'm going to flop this one to here and bring this one and pop you just there. Let's make sure you're not cutting into the window or anything. You need to be moved just slightly. You are going underneath of there, and I just thought this here would look nice just next to. Um, maybe they go out and harvest lemons and stuff from the trees or things, you know. A couple of baskets, a couple of baskets. And then a big entryway rug as well. I'm going to put the rug there. I like that. You know, that just gives me a little bit of a vibe, that. 
there's a few i'm hinting it with a few like classic pieces like this i don't know why but this reminds me of some kind of like really old screen um classic little uh hall table there and a dining table loves a dining table we're gonna go for a circular one and i'm gonna pop it right underneath of that light if i can let me pull you back one more that way then and i just think that is a nice again going for a bit more of a classic look with that as well and i think that's kind of perfect there's a nice flow around there as well i like that flow yeah into it absolutely into that area gorgeous well we're moving on to the kitchen aren't we right we've made a start on the kitchen so i'm gonna put this little hutch thing up on top of this level here now it does cut slightly into that wall which does infuriate me but i reckon if i did that it might poke through the other side oh it does just a little bit what about if i just whiffle it in just a bit that would do we'll just pretend it got built in it's meant to be that way um going for the jungle adventure kitchen don't really like this kitchen at all to be honest with you but I think it's the only thing that semi fits in with the aesthetic I'm kind of go, kind of going for, which is that sort of updated, contemporary but still classic vibe. Um, and yeah, we're, we're gonna go for it anyway. Don't like the kitchen, but we're using it for this house. Uh, I'm gonna flop this to here. Yep, gorgeous. And then do two more normal counters on this bit here, which is where I'm gonna put a sink and a dishwasher. I think. Um, I'm going to flop in this fridge. This fridge is going into this area here. Gorgeous. Let's get you right into that wall. I'm going to put a bin over on this side. Um, I'm going to pop up these ones here. I just thought they were perfect in here. Uh, you can see I've used a little tile wall as well. I just wanted something a little bit more classic um, to come through here. I had a shelf. Where's it gone? Oh no. Is there going to be a random shelf somewhere? Guys, if you find a shelf, then you will know that it's not meant to be there. I can't see it personally, but there's definitely a shelf around. It was this one here anyway in white. And what I did was put two here and then two above it like this. Yeah, tried cupboards here. Didn't work. Looked very strange. Very strange indeed. Um, and lighting. I'm thinking about trying these lights in the kitchen as well. Uh, I think they could work, you know. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. I do like that a lot. I think we need some kind of uh, decoration up on this wall here. And I want to get things up on the shelves and up on the sides and whatnot. So let me do that and I'll be right back. And there we go. Just to finish it off, I ended up getting rid of the shelves. Got rid of the shelves and put up the pots and pans instead. I just think it fits with the aesthetic a little bit more. Plus some other little trinkety bits here and there. Um, all from the Country Kitchen kit pack. Um, and I think that looks rather nice. Finished off of a rug put a little bin here and I'll put a little painting up on this wall here as well now we need to be careful because we've only got 12,000 simoleons left I ended up furnishing this very barely downstairs so at least they've got a toilet downstairs for the minute until they can maybe afford to get a shower to put in here because we still need to furnish a bathroom upstairs and we've got all of this to do with only 12,000 simoleons so I'm hoping we're going to be able to pull this off because um yeah let's just say this might be a bit of a struggle but we're going to give it a try, aren't we? Yes, we are indeed. So it might look a little bare up here, but we're going to give it our best shot. We're going to start off with the main bedroom. So first off, I'm going to put these, I'm going to keep these dresses. I might even give uh, Yaya a dresser in there and we'll have a dresser in here for the minute just because they're running out of money here. I, I, I might have not been looking at the budget. Um, That might be the reasons why, but who can say? Who can say in this day and age? Anyway, so, a bed. So these are the beds that I've gone for. Gone for a bit more of a contemporary one for the actual main bedroom itself. I also got rid of this window here, just because there was windows on every side and I was finding it difficult to kind of think about where I wanted to put furniture and things. Um, over into uh, Yaya's bedroom, I've gone for this bed here. Uh, I've just pulled out all the beds, including the children's bedroom, just so I know we've got a bit of money, which is 10,000 simoleons. Uh, left to play around with. So that's what we're going to do. Yes, we are, Dave. Let's carry on. Right, here we go. So, I would like a consonant, please, Carol. No, what I would like is a little... I think, I'm thinking about using these. Yeah, 95. 95. The rustic footstools that I always use as a bedside table for some reason. I don't know why I do this, but I just like them. 
I would have that in my own house. Maybe not in my own bedroom, just because I've got carpet on the floor. It wouldn't sit right. <laughs> it would not sit right for me, I'm afraid. Right, and then aesthetics. We need to remember about money. Weathered lantern are a hundred. What is the other one? 140. I think we can let go of that much money. I think these ones would look... Oh, God, that light's a bit yellow. We're going to do it anyway. Um, Come on, up you come. And I know that these float a little bit, so I'm going to have to move them down ever so slightly. I put them on the OMSP shelf, and I've moved them down, so they're sitting on those stools now. And we're going to use this rug here, which came with growing together. I just think the colour way will, will work well with this room. I'm going to flop that. Uh, move the dresser over to this side and put the mirror on that side. I'm going to use this plant here. Uh, I'm going to put you right next to the window like that. We've still got 9,000 simoleons left, loves. We're doing all right. I had one more thing. Where's it gone? Where have you gone? Oh, you're here. And maybe just some pictures up above the actual bed like this. I just think those would work quite nicely in here. Let's have a little look, please. <gasps> I'm vibing. I'm vibing with it. I'm absolutely vibing. I think we're going to be okay. I would like to see. Yes. Not a lot in here. But again, they can always redevelop after they've got a little bit more money. You know? Still know. Right. Moving on to uh, Yaya's bedroom. So uh, let's... Let's... Uh, figure this out so i want to change the lights for a start i think we're going to use the same lights as what we've got in here i'm going to use these ones plop them into the middle like that i'm going to move your bed over to one side because i'm i'm thinking it's just it's just nan it's just grandmum here so if i did that i could in turn use this dresser oh i don't like that next to the bed that looks weird no we're going to do it there we're going to leave it there i'm just worried about them not being able to get through there but they should be okay we're going to move it in a little bit tighter even more so and i'm thinking bedside table and a chair would be perfect for nan and there we go put a little chair in the corner put this bedside table up with some candles i've gave her some teeth on the side of the bed i just thought that'd be a lovely little touch uh change the swatch of the bed as well went for this one here i just think that looks nicer the blue was just a little bit too blue it just kept popping out of my eye and i was not enjoying it Put a mirror over in this corner and I pulled out a painting as well just to put above the dresser uh, or a photo of her family, maybe from years ago. Um, and I'm kind of into that. Nice little room there. We've still got like 8,000 simoleons left, so I'm not too panicked now. Um, so we're going to start on the kids' bedroom. What I'm going to do in the meantime is just furnish this bathroom and hallway um, and we'll make a start on here. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I just furnished the kids' bedroom. I got bored. I won't lie. I got absolutely bored doing the kids' bedroom. I don't know why. I also noticed that this base game rug has got the same pattern as what they put on a growing together bed. Just saying. Um, yeah, put those up for some reason. They're by the sea. I thought sunshine, fish, jellyfish, beautiful. Um, what is a kids' bedroom from me without the use of the bear chair? And that's what I did. Uh, and I just put in a wardrobe and a toy box. <laughs> and I was just like, see you later. See you later. We're done. Um, and also out in the hallway, just filled it with a few things. Just put it up. Picture, little side table. They got a full bathroom as well, complete with a full bath. Um, and yeah, and they still got 1,400 simoleons left over, loves. So we are done. We're going to have a tour. We're having a tour. It's happening. Uh, yeah, so this is the new front facade. Um, I like how it looks. I do. I, I can still see the original build in it as well, which is nice. So we've got a nice big, well, not a big pool, but it's got a lovely little pool area here looking over the water. Stunning. Um, you come back through this way. Oh, how dare you? We need to do a bit of weeding, loves. You come through this way and it's got a little sun lounger moment with a little platform up into a level here where this area, let's get some better lighting now we're out the back. Here we go. And then we're in the little outside dining area. Uh, it's got a little rocking chair over in the corner in this Walden courtyard. Um, come through to this way. Little water feature. Stunning. Barbecue. View. Oh, it's got it all going on back here. Uh, and this is the back of the house. This is the back of how the house uh, looks. This is how it looks. And I'm kind of for it. I do like that. I do. So it's got a little outside area from the living room and also from the dining kitchen area. And it's got balconies off 
two of the bedrooms. Uh, kind of for it. Very much for it to do. So let's have a little tour in here then. Come in. Main entrance vestibule. I do like this area. This area is probably my favourite. This kind of like look in, you know. Um, yeah, gorgeous. Little seating area there. Dining room. Very nice. You come around to the left here. It's got a lovely living area. Very much into the living area. Uh, I think this is very attractive. Gorgeous. And then you come over to this side. And then it's got uh, a kitchen. A full kitchen. Uh, with an entrance going out this way. Where you can get up to the courtyard area. And also, as I said, out into the back areas here. Uh, very much into that. I like the uh, floor plan and the layout of this house so very much do and then obviously as i said you come out through this way and this is now the area where you get up to the bedroom so coming into here we have a bathroom just a generic bathroom it's got everything that they will need to keep them satisfied you come through this is what i think would be the grandparents bedroom very much into that as well with its own little balcony, of course. Nice little rocking chair out, looking over the ocean. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's going to be made up. Uh, you come through this way. You come through into that rather awful kids' bedroom that I've just done. <laughs> well, it's not awful. I just, got, I just got to a point with it. I was just like, I can't be bothered. I really can't. And I'm only ever going to be real with your loves. Just weren't feeling it. Uh, do like the main bedroom, though. The main bedrooms probably came out my favourite. Um, we didn't really do much to it at all. We just added in a few extra details. But I just like the feel of it and the colours and stuff in here. And again, it's got its own little private balcony area. And uh, we can come out, lounge under the sun or just sit and watch the world go by. I'll do a little shot above so you guys can kind of see a floor plan coming to fruition. Uh, if you do want to copy along with it. So that's the upstairs. And then the downstairs, my toe is clicking. She is, she's given up as well. Um, and yeah, very much into it. Very, very happy of how this came out. We definitely need to do another starter home soon. So I definitely will be on the looks out. Or if you guys want to see a starter home from me in a specific world, then let me know down below and I will get to it. Anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for watching my darlings. And I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye.